سبيل الدموع سبيل مريح كان هدايا صاحي كي تستريح وغث الدعاء الغفي الصريح يسعك الفضاء nearly 6 a.m. right now and Fajr in the Masjid begins in about 15 minutes so we're gonna go make wudu and get ready to head off inshallah you know the time of Fajr it is similar to the time of resurrection when people are resurrected from their graves and get up from their grave what do they get up for people get up on the day of judgment from their graves only to walk to Allah for al hisab it's nothing it's not a time of work. There's no businesses there. Eh? There's no children to get them ready and take them to school. There's no phone calls at that time. There's no food at that. There's nothing. You are purely getting out of your grave and walking straight to Allah. Khalas al hisab. Then either paradise or Jahannam will ask Allah Azawajal to save us. And Fajr is exactly like that. So we just came back from the masjid and now I'm going to be going back home and getting some extra sleep. I personally like getting the full eight hours of sleep whenever possible, or at least seven and a half hours of sleep. So we're going to go home, get some sleep, then wake up and get ready for the classes, inshallah. So see you guys in a bit. <laughs> So when it comes to Quran memorization, six days a week, I have classes ranging from one to two hours a day. And the key with Quran memorization is consistency. The Arabs have a saying which goes like, Man khamsa lam yansa, which means whoever recites five juz a day will not forget what they have memorized. And I'm definitely not at that level yet, but inshallah, that is the goal for me to be able to recite five juz a day to retain that level of quality, which is necessary for when it comes to memorizing the Quran. Okay, so just got done with the Quran class. Now I'm going to run downstairs, make some breakfast in the form of eggs, inshallah. Eat the eggs, then come back and have my next class. <laughs> Just the benefit of online classes though. We just sneak out of frame. It's Zaid and sometimes Min comes as as a harf uh, al if it's Zaid, it's not just Zaid, just like that without reason. All it's right. usually like Harf al or something. Next up, we've got about an hour of tennis training. I like to take my younger brother with me as well. It's nice to get both of us doing some training together. And tennis being my primary sport, I have been trying to improve and slowly the long-term goal will be to eventually make the national team for Bermuda. It is a very difficult goal, but consistency is the key to all sorts of improvement. So I've recorded some nice uh, footage of tennis training here and hope you guys enjoy. So for lunch today, we have a fish sandwich, which is a traditional Bermudian dish. Uh, it is made with raisin bread. So let's see how it goes, inshallah. Bismillah.
So here goes the first bite. Inshallah, tomorrow I'll be delivering the khutbah at the local masjid here. And I have not really prepared much at all. So for the next 45 minutes to an hour, I will spend some time researching and gathering some more information on the topic I have. For those of you who've done something like this before, you would know the hardest part about doing this is finding the topic. Finding the topic for a khutbah is very, very difficult. Especially something you can talk about at length for maybe 30 minutes. It's not that easy. So if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for a future khutbah topic, please let me know in the comments section down below. And cue the study, study thing. Mm. Cue the khutbah study montage. Cue the khutbah preparation montage. There will be another man whom Allah has sent to Jahannam because of his sins and he's being dragged away. And he will call out, my Rabb, Rabbi, I did not expect this from you. This is not what I expected. And Allah will say, what did you expect? I mean, you did all the sins. Was there anything in this record that was wrong? You did it. What did you expect? He will say, I expected that you were so merciful you could even forgive somebody like me. And Allah will say, he called me by my mercy. So he finds me merciful. Let him go. I forgive him and enter him into Jannah. And now we're going to get some schoolwork in. My uh, study schedule is largely dependent on how close my exams are. I have a very... Uh, exam dependent study schedule so the closer my exams are the more I study it can go up to six hours a day sometimes but the further they are away sometimes I get to study maybe even one hour a day so today is one of those days where I get to study less make more videos and edit more so hope you enjoy I don't become successful because I worked hard I become successful because Allah allowed me to but that's not the whole picture because if I stop at that point and somebody could say, well, then why do I even have to work hard? Allah will allow me to or not allow me to. That's entirely up to Allah. But Allah has a principle. What's Allah's principle? Show me your effort. I'll grant you the results. So in a couple of weeks, I've got a, a half marathon, a 10K and a mile race. There are three races in three days. And for the past couple of weeks, I've been training for it. And we've got about eight-ish weeks left uh, till the race day. So tonight we've got some intervals. I didn't get the chance to do it outside. I should have. So I'm sure I'm going to get around 12 sets of intervals in. And yeah, I'll meet you guys after the pain, inshallah. And finally, to wrap up the day, we've got some editing to do. The video I'm editing right now is the video you're watching, which is really weird. And I like to do some, uh, I like to listen to some e evening adhkar as well. It's a good time to get it in, uh, especially when I don't have to listen to anything being played back for editing purposes. So yeah, I'm going to get some editing in until I feel tired or just want to stop. And I will then head to bed. <laughs> And that concludes our daily routine video for today. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. Obviously not every single day looks like this for me. I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse into what some of my days look like on the more productive days. Uh, and with that, I will see you guys next time. So.